challenging part of of of, the, of working on the game with an episodic uh, format was to create those two characters in a way that would really appeal to the player. So when you arrive to this final choice at the end of episode five, if if you wanted this final choice to work, we we really needed the player to grow to to love Chloe, to really get attached to Chloe. So two of the biggest challenge was, of course, the writing and the voice acting to, ma to, to make that happen. Of course, the story was written uh, as a whole since the beginning, so we couldn't change massive stuff, but uh, small details uh, could, be, uh, could be added, a, a line of dialogue for a character, or episode three when you visit Kate in the, in the hospital, and it wasn't supposed to be here, but we've seen how people loved Kate. Um, and we, re we realized how much it was important to have a scene like this one. It's a way of finding, um, finding the voice of the character. So sometimes you just need to, to think about expressions or words that one character will use and the other won't use it. And that's, that's how you, you grow to, to like those characters. Because when, when in episode three or four, Chloe at the moment used use the word Hela, the players are, were waiting sometimes for it and they recognize that, okay, it's Chloe because she's, she's using that. So we're working with a blind light in Los Angeles and they send, sent us a, a lot of different uh, um, voices to, yeah. to, to listen to them and we have to decide. So we decide with Michel, Sebastian and the producer on Square, uh, which one we want. So it was quite difficult. For example, for Max, we've got like 40, I yes, think. Yes, I guess we got 40, 40, 40, 40 different castings. For Chloe, it was 30, I think, something yeah. like that. Most of the time, we were m quite sure uh, and quite uh, quite agreeing on, on, on the actor. It was really, really hard for for Max because it's always on our mind, like, are we sure? Are we really sure that we're we are yeah. doing the, the good choice? Because it's so important. She, I don't know I don't know the number of lines she has in the game, but it's almost, I think that there is almost 14,000 lines in the game. And I think that more than 10,000 are mm. from Max. I've never played a character that I related to so much. I have a lot of the same issues that she does with her confidence. And so getting to play someone that seemed so similar to me was really an extraordinary experience. I really feel like I'm growing with her. We'll help you. Just just let me go and... The fun, fun story is for Jefferson, uh, the, the guy we chose is Derek Phillips. And after we chose him, I, 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 um, I discovered that he, that he was Derek Phillips and he's actually playing one of the main ca recurring characters in the show Friday Night Lights, which, which is one of my favorite TV shows. Well, this has just been really fun for me, especially coming from the standpoint where, you know, when I auditioned for the role, uh, I wasn't sure if Jefferson was going to be the bad guy in this. So, you know, you just kind of came in and we would do uh, our voiceover sessions and he was just a, a cool teacher. So it was kind of neat to find out about this twist. I mean, I'd kind of heard that that might happen, um, but I didn't know for sure if it would. So it was really, really fun to play with that. So we are really proud and happy to have Anna and uh, uh, <coughs> Ashley uh, for Max and Chloe. This is all the voice talents we've worked with were really involved. They've given something unique to those characters and that's why it has worked also. It's because the, there is a, a part of their soul inside their character. For, for Hannah, for Max, one of the hardest parts is that there is so many lines of inner voices. So it was really important for Hannah to, to give something great for those and I think it, it was uh, quite the case. And for Ashley, one of the really hard part is that there is a, and, and for Hannah too, there is a lot of really emotional scenes. I really wanted to, to sell the moments. Um, and I, I, so I, I was putting, you know, pressure on myself to make, to make, you know, certain moments like with Rachel, um, or lots of the moments that happened in episode four, I really wanted them to feel real. And I'm constantly on this roller coaster. Um, so I had to figure out how to harness that, those feelings so that I could, um, use them to illustrate what Max is going through. I remember um, during the voice recording session, for example, for the scene where they are discovering Rachel's body, yeah. it was really hard even just for myself to listen to, to the scene. And, and they told me after that they, they were, both of them were really crying, crying when, yeah. they, when, when, when they were recording this scene. We knew already how we wanted to end each episode, but after we take a, a lot of time to discuss about how and to think about the, the editing uh, and the, the framing, uh, the layout of each scene. The endings of each episode, so that, that was something really important, of course, because 
it's an episodic game, so the ending is crucial um, if if we want, of course, the player to enjoy the episode and to want to come back for the next episode. So I think we looked a lot at also what can be done in, in TV series uh, because with the episodic format we are we were kind of the same the same way. At the end of, one, of an episode, you want either to to bring back some element of the story, so in order to to hook the player, or you can use a cliffhanger. And I think that we did both of that, depending on, on the episode. And right now, this is the ending for episode two. Um, yeah, the episode one and episode two endings are not the same, but it's uh, the idea behind was well, well, really to to show the all the characters of the games, all the main characters, and showing that there is maybe something more going on. Yeah. And in episode one, for example, we even show some characters you haven't uh, oh yeah, met already uh, in episode one, Joyce and, and Frank, Frank yeah. and you will find uh, you will find them back here at the end of episode two in, in, in small uh, scenes. And we really wanted those, in episode one and two, those ends to be like a, a wide, a description yeah. of all the characters and, and all, all what's going on and all also showing other aspects of each character for example seeing David yeah. uh, on the sh uh, with uh, his head on the shoulder of Joyce seeing uh, Victoria and, uh, and Nathan in, uh, in Victoria's yeah. room seeing the principal and Jefferson are going this is kind of small hints that maybe will push the player to want to see more because and this is basically the only moments where we are seeing those characters when Max is not seeing them exactly and so we can just bring a bit more we, we, we are not telling too much we are just bringing a bit more on those characters a bit of sort of mystery and this goes with um, the idea that everybody might be hiding something or might be a bit different right like Victoria here with with we, we can see her crying when clearly this was not the way her character would behave before and having Nathan going into our room, we don't know what's happening between the two of them, but it's still bringing a bit of mystery and interest for the characters, for, for the player. When we worked on, on the cliffhangers for episodes three and four, of course our, our goal was still to have, to have a twist. We were really trying to go on with what was important for the story and not just having the, the shock factor. Maybe just want to yeah, thank you for yeah. all the, the gifts, uh, all the support we have from you. Yes. And yeah, thank you very much to be so active and so passionate about the game. And we're really no. happy to, to, to see that those characters and this story and those themes uh, mean something also for you. Uh, and yeah, this yeah. is why we are doing games. So we are really happy. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. We really think that I think we have one. You are one of the best community we, we've seen for games. I'm going to and cry, Michel. Yeah, <laughs> and and this community is really nice. I, 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 did, didn't, I didn't see a lot of bad words. You know, sometimes in, in video games community, you can, can go easily wrong. And it was really, really, it's really pleasant to to read and to, 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 to read everything that the Life is Strange community has to, has to say.